Hey, my name is Jette Lengefeld and together with Eve Barral, we are happy to present this video abstract to give an overview about recent research in asymmetric cell division and age-dependent inheritance of cellular structures in our review titled Asymmetric Segregation of Aged Spinnable Bodies During Cell Division – Mechanisms and Relevance Beyond Budding Yeast. Many organisms display a broad diversity of cell types. Part of this diversity is generated through cell division. Cells divide symmetrically to multiply, whereas asymmetric cell division generates daughter cells with different fate potentials, which leads to different cell types. During asymmetric cell division, cell fate determinants partition asymmetrically between the two daughter cells. That means that the two daughter cells inherit different amounts of them. This has been extensively studied and reviewed. In our review, we focus on molecules and structures that partition asymmetrically in respect to their age and not to their mass. Different copies of certain factors are different in age, in the sense that some copies have been synthesized more recently than others, and the cell partitions the older material to one daughter cell, while the more recently produced material is partitioned to the sister cell. For example, in most cells, each pole of the mitotic spindle is structured by a microtubule organizing center, and at mitosis cells harbor an older and a younger centrosome. Many stem cells segregate the older and the younger centrosome non-randomly between the renewing stem cell and the differentiating daughter cell. This has been shown in the fruit fly and the mouse. In budding yeast, the old spinnable body partitions into the bud and the new one remains in the mother cell. These observations open the following questions. How is old material different from recently synthesized material? How do cells differentiate between the old and new material? What is the biological relevance of segregating old and new material away from each other and to different daughter cells? Therefore, we review the nature of these molecules and structures that are segregated as a function of their age during mitosis, the mechanisms that guide this asymmetry, and their possible biological roles during differentiation and aging. First, we focus on the molecular mechanisms enabling budding yeast to recognize spinnable bodies based on their age and guide their non-random mitotic segregation. Age-dependent segregation of spinnable bodies requires that the cell distinguishes old from new spinnable bodies. This is promoted by the spinnable body inheritance network, short SPIN. The SPIN is a genetic network made of the acetyl transferase NUA4, TYP60 in animals, and the kinases V1 or V1 in other eukaryotes and KIN3 NEC2 in mammals. In G1, C1 earmarks young spinnable bodies inherited from the previous mitosis with a phosphorylation mark. This marks this spinnable body now as being old. Before the completion of spinnable body duplication, C1 is downregulated. This ensures that it only earmarks this pre existing spinnable body. The phosphorylation mark signals then downstream to the spindle positioning machinery that this old spinnable body must orient towards the bud. The maintenance of the spinnable body's identity thereafter relies on new A4 and KIN3. Thus, the spin sorts SPBs according to their history. Since spin components are conserved in metazoans, it is tempting to speculate that spin is similarly specifying metazoan centrosomes as well. Importantly, the biological function of sorting old and new spinnable bodies and centrosomes is still unknown. Several studies hint that the sorting might facilitate the asymmetric partitioning of other structures between daughter cells and thereby promote asymmetric cell fate determination, aging, and rejuvenation. We next revisit other molecules and structures that partition depending on their age rather than their abundance at mitosis, ranging from bacterial cell poles, LARPs and budding yeast, mitochondria, DNA, and histones. We particularly ask whether the molecule's age influences the age of the cell in a direct or indirect manner. 
The examples in the literature suggest that the potential impact of age structures on cellular aging is unlikely to be direct. The duplication of these structures creates an age difference between the coexisting copies. But this age difference is not necessarily meaningful. However, asymmetrically dividing cells seem to have evolved a mechanism enabling them to identify and conveniently take advantage of this difference to subsequently amplify diverse asymmetries between the cells. We suggest that the formation of marks, like phosphorylation over time, likely promotes the asymmetric distribution of differentiation and aging factors during cell division to ensure that one daughter cell remains young while the other one undergoes aging. However, this is a sheer hypothesis that needs testing. We hope you enjoyed this video abstract and invite you to read the review further explaining these topics. Thank you.